to tell the truth, that's why they lying on my name, on my soul I can't lose control, when y'all do the most, what's my hope? I can't lose my soul, I can't lose no more Alright y'all, what is going on guys, and today we're back with another banger video And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we do have top 10 sneakers for summer 2022 What does this mean? Basically, I'm gonna do a top 10 under 100 very very soon But I'm gonna do that more like probably beginning of next month or maybe end of this month Right now, it's just gonna be like 10 summer sneakers that either sneakers that came out very recent Or sneakers that are actually gonna be coming out throughout the summer So I have 10 shoes right here that I fit like fit just perfectly for this So anyway, if you're new to the channel Make sure you take a second out of your day. Hit that subscribe button because we post every other day, which is probably better than your favorite YouTuber. Unless, of course, I'm your favorite YouTuber. Now, all the talking is out of the way. We're on the ground to 70,000. We are so close. So I appreciate everybody showing support and love. And I love you guys. So yeah, hit a like in this video if you want the top 10 summer sneakers under $100. But for right now, this doesn't really have a price range. I tried to keep it like, you know, under 200, like just kind of retail prices and stuff. But for under 100, leave a like on this video. So the first five shoes on the show have already came out. And then like they came out recently. Last like five shoes on the show are coming out within like you know, when this video comes out, maybe like a week from now, two weeks, more towards the summertime. Oh, I'm going to start off with these New Balances. This right here is the New Balance 574. Now, these ones are actually the Salehi Bembury pair. And these ones have, they released colorways in the past already. Like, they released a few colorways, but they just dropped three new colorways. And I'm not going to lie, they all, besides the black, the black is a little bit toned down. But you can still wear black in the summer. But at least the colorful ones, those ones definitely go hard for the summertime. And they're not sitting at a lot right now. They're honestly around retail, like 180, 190. So they're not going for a lot. And in case you don't know about the design, there's actually a whistle on the back of the shoe. Like it's inspired by like hiking and all that stuff. And if you actually, there's a whistle on the back. Like you could pause, you could blow the shoe and the shoe will whistle. So I thought that's cool. I like the shoe design and everything. So figured out to put this one on the list. Next, this is a no brainer. Again, this could be for any colorway but we're going colorway specific since these did come out very recently it is the yeezy foam runner sulfur colorway now they're actually dropping a sulfur 450 which is also tough for summer but for right now we're just gonna stay with the yeezy foam runner because i feel like a lot of people are gonna want these for the summertime as well as yeezy slides and stuff but we're staying with yeezy foam runners right now so yeah yeezy foam runner and the sulfur colorway just came out on the 22nd of april and i actually really like this color this color is tough it's like it has like a little bit of like a yellowy tinge to it it's that sulfur whatever that means but yeah, I like them. Um, again, foam runners for the summertime. A lot of people are going to be wearing these. A lot of people are going to want them. Obviously, any colorways that are going to come out over the summer as well. But this is just the most recent colorway that came out. And these are like regular foam runners. They're honestly around like 180, 200, 220. It, it all depends on the colorway. This one though, 180 to 200. Next, now they actually just re-released these. These came out, I want to say a couple months ago. But now they re-released them for the summertime. It is the Nike Dunk Low Championship Purple. Now, I, there's not that much for me to say about them. These are sitting at like $200 because they did re-release. That's why I put them on the list because since they did re-release, they are going for a little bit less than what they were because of the restocked and the new pairs and all that stuff. So they're going for around $200, which is not that bad. Again, me personally, I just wouldn't spend resale on some dunks, but this colorway, that white with the purple is tough and it's not the regular white and black. So I'm not going to put those on the list. I don't want those on the list. Like y'all can do what y'all want with those. But for me personally, Get a color at least, do something different. The purple is very cool for the summertime, and I just like the way the color paneling is. Like, again, it's like the white and blacks, just white and purple, and it looks good for $200. If you're gonna spend resale on a dunk, I feel like this is gonna be perfect for the summertime. Going back to New Balance, we do have the Joe Fresh Goods 550. Now, I put the Joe Fresh Good uh, 992s, I think it was, in the last list, um, but this one is the 550s. These are sitting, these are a little bit expensive. They did come out recently, they're around 220 to like 250, depending on your size. And I just feel like they're a good summer shoe. It's that all over cream. I've seen a lot of people posting about these, and I figured you guys would like these as well. So I'm not gonna talk too much about them. I've seen them in person, they're tough. The 550s are tough, but. I, I don't know. For me personally, I'm good. I'll pass. Again, it's a nice shoe though. Perfect for summertime. I'm not getting into this now. Uh, we're starting with May 11th. So this video might honestly come out on May 11th or like after May 11th. So this shoe already came out. It is the Air Jordan 6 Midnight Navy. Now this is a classic Jordan 6 that has come out and perfect for some time. It's all white, got navy accents. It looks perfect. Uh, these are obviously gonna be around, they're not gonna go for that much because they are a GR. They're gonna be around that 200 to 220 price range. And this colorway is just, this colorway is beautiful. I really, really do like this colorway. So yeah, the Midnight Navies, honestly a six I would cop, but let's just say I did, uh, just stay tuned for a vlog that's gonna come out after this video. That's all I'm gonna say, let's just, let's just say that. That's why I'm not copying these because I have another six on the way, but these right here are definitely tough. The Air Jordan 6 Midnight Navies and I, <clears throat> 
It might be a shoe that I cop later on down the line, just because it gives me nostalgia. Like, I really like these. Next, this is a sneaker that comes out on May 13th. Now, I think this video is coming out on May 13th. It is the ACG Air Mada. Mada? I don't know how to say it, but it's Vachetta Tan colorway. These came out May 13th. Retail on these is $150, but if you go on GOAT or other places, honestly, they're at literally $100. Like, you get these for $100, and the reason I'm putting these on is because I just picture, like, those summer, like, you know, cargo short vibes, like cargo short, like kind of more of that, like hiking style type of fit, like a little bit more, something you wear with Solomon's, like something like that. I like ACG. You guys know that ACG is one of my favorite things from Nike, like all the ACG clothes, the shoes. That's like, if I worked at Nike, I'd want to work with the ACG line because the ACG is just like the most unique stuff, the coolest stuff in my opinion. I just like what ACG does with Nike and like... Yeah, I like these a lot. These are cool. They're different. It's like a hiking type shoe and I just figured I'd put it on the list for the people that are into that because I'm into that and I like the way that they look. And for $100, $103, $106, like I actually thought about buying these. I was like, do I need these? I don't need them because I do want to get some more Solomons and I'd rather spend money on Solomons. But for these ones, $100, I'm like, damn. Staying with Nikes. Yes, Nikes making its way back on my list. I know I've been not showing love to Nike because they really haven't been dropping nothing. But these right here are the Nike Offline 2.0 mule in that summit white team orange now i just figured for a slide slash mule type shoe this was good for summertime these are coming out may 13th as well so same day that this video came out you could probably go on nike.com and buy them right now if they're not sold out um and they're retailing these i believe i actually don't know the retail it's probably like a hundred dollars though and i like these i like the mule i like the way that the top is i like the laces over the over the forefoot i like the paneling on here i like the colorway and just, you know, step up the slide game. You know, don't, don't get Crocs, don't get basic slides. Get something different. I like these. These are a little bit different. I like the way that they look. And I like sandals and slides. Like, for the summertime, you guys know, if you were following me throughout all of last summer, the amount of unique sandals and slides and clogs and stuff that I bought is insane. And it's probably going to be the same for this summer. So, definitely something dope from Nike. And now, these right here are honestly the three biggest releases coming up for, like, the end of May into June. So, this one right here is the Women's Air Jordan 3 Retro. Nope. Neopolitan? 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 I didn't know they were called that. I thought they were called like ice cream or something. But it's basically a Mocha 3 with a pink sole. These are beautiful. Like, I love these. These are fire. This might be the three that I get. Like, I, I really like these. May 14th, these do drop. So a day after this video. I'm pretty sure this video comes out on the 13th. So I'm sorry if you're watching this after. Just know these came out on May 14th. And I'm very excited to see these. I want to see them in person. You'll probably see them in the District 1 video um, because I just want to see these in person. I feel like they're going to go crazy. It's literally a Mocha 3 with a pink slab on the back and a cream sole. These are beautiful. I like these a lot. Getting into a shoe that releases May 21st. This is the Air Jordan 4 Military Black. So they didn't give us the Military Blues, but they gave us the Military Blacks. How y'all feeling about it? I think they're tough. Me personally, I think they're tough. Am I going to buy them? No, but for the summertime, I feel like this is fire. It's an all-white based four with little hints of black. Y'all going to eat these up. They're fire. Like, there's nothing wrong with this shoe. They're beautiful. They're nice. I like these more than the Red Thunders and any other four that has came out, honestly, in the past couple of months. I feel like this is one of the best fours in a minute that's not an OG colorway. For, like, a newer four, a new colorway, I think this is one of the best fours. Um, and that's obviously because it took the inspiration from the Military Blue fours, which I wish they would have just gave us that because those I would have for sure copped. But... Military black, definitely tough. White and black for y'all. I'm telling y'all, y'all are gonna eat these up. You guys are gonna see these on TikTok, Instagram. You're gonna see these everywhere. So yeah, definitely a tough four. So the last and final shoe, we do have a sneaker that I actually had recently from 2006, and I just I sold it because the new ones are coming out. Am I gonna cop the new ones? I'm not 100% sure yet. I want to see how they did them because they do look a little bit different. I have to see them in person, but it is the Air Jordan 5 Green. Bean. Now, you guys know my favorite ever of like Jordans in general is the Jordan 5s from 2006. They just had the best colorways. They had just, just everything from 2006 back then was so tough. Like that 2006, 2007 era of Jordans is fire. The green beans, beautiful. I love the green beans. I literally had a 2006 pair for the longest. They're coming back out end of the month. So if y'all want them, definitely cop them. I think it's a good shoe. And yeah, I just, I, I want to see what y'all are going to do with these. I want to see the fits that I'm going to see in these because Again, they haven't been released since 2006. That's literally almost, damn, that's like 15 plus years ago. That's crazy. 
Alright y'all, so that's pretty much it for today. I hope you guys did enjoy. That was 10 sneakers that I think are going to be good for the summertime. If you're new to the channel, make sure you take a second out of your day. Hit that subscribe button. We're on the grind to 70,000. And again, hit that like button if you want top 10 summer sneakers under $100. And comment down below if, and if there's any other hyped releases that you're looking forward to for the summer. I might do a summer release video. That's why I didn't go like so far into the summer because... Once it gets to like June, I might drop a video like end of June talking about like, oh, like summer sneaker releases like July, August and all that stuff. Once we get a little bit more information because there's some twos that are supposed to be coming out. There's a bunch of other stuff coming out this summer. So just stay tuned for that. Pretty much it for today. Hope you guys did enjoy. Catch you on the next one. And we out. <laughs> Love with the music, I do it with passion. Yeah. You see me done to do hundreds for all this designer and love with the fashion. Yeah. I'm yeah. with the money, they calling me Michael, I'm feeling like Jackson. Yeah. And I ain't like none of you niggas, you know I'm